Hey guys, it's Randy with Lobach LS here again. And I think today is going to be a pretty good day because if everything goes well, we are going to end today with a new project vehicle for the Lobach LS channel. Um, the last video I did was about a month ago where I went and pulled that six liter LQ4 uh, out in the junkyard up in Edmonton. So I've kind of been looking for a vehicle to... Uh, put that uh, engine in and I've had my eye I've kind of hinted in past videos that I'd like to uh, drop that thing in a square body suburban so I've had my eye on one there's one that uh, has been uh, it's actually not listed up for sale anymore but it was up for sale a couple months back in like September October um, it's December 5th right now 2020 um, and it didn't sell. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, I actually had posted a picture of the ad up on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, but uh, um, anyways, in uh, the month since I uh, have pulled that engine, um, I basically didn't have a whole bunch of cash to spend on a vehicle. So I've been busting my butt, delivering for skip the dishes. You can see the bag uh, on the... Uh, seat beside me here i'm actually on shift right now saturday morning in uh, red deer alberta waiting for an order to come in but so basically i busted my butt with uh, i started out with instacart um and made a few hundred dollars uh delivering with instacart um, basically shopping for people and delivering groceries to them um, and then it took me a bit i was on the waiting list at first to get on with skip the dishes but finally got approved for that and so for the last month or so i've been working almost every day and uh, had some pretty good weeks um made last week i think i made like 440 bucks the uh, week before that i made 500 bucks but and obviously fuel and stuff like that comes out of it and when i'm delivering in my uh GMC truck like I am right now it's uh, not the most economical vehicle so sometimes I use my daughter's uh, Toyota Matrix or my wife's Dodge Durango but anyways uh, long story short I now have enough money together to uh, go buy the 1990 three quarter ton 4x4 Suburban that I've had my eye on for a couple months so um, I've got a flat deck truck booked for uh, 1 30 this afternoon i'm doing a skip the dishes shift from uh, nine o'clock this morning till noon and then doing another one from like four till seven uh, this afternoon but in between there we are going to uh, hopefully go uh, pick up this suburban and take it i don't have room at my my house but we're going to take it to a storage yard um, just outside of sylvan lake alberta where i live and uh yeah so we'll turn the camera back on uh when we are out looking at that suburban i don't know how much filming i'm actually going to do when i'm buying the truck i don't want to weird the guy out that uh, i'm buying it from so i don't know how much of that i'll film but uh we'll definitely uh try and film a little bit and then once we get it if everything goes well and we get it to the storage yard We'll do a bit of a walk around there so we'll talk to you guys in a bit all right guys so like i said earlier i'm hoping to buy a suburban today so we are just pulling into uh the suburban is in a shop at an industrial area in a town that's close by to us so i'm just pulling in um like i said earlier i'm probably not gonna film much in there but if I get the chance, I would like to show you guys where this Suburban has been sitting for the last few years. So, um, But I'm guessing the, the seller may not want to be on camera. So uh, if I get the chance, I will uh, film a little bit here and show you guys where this Suburban has been sitting. And then we'll shut the camera off until we do the transaction and get the Suburban back to the storage yard. And then we'll give you guys a bit of a walk around and show you what we bought. So talk to you guys in a bit all right guys we're just pulling into the yard here and there is the old suburban all right so we snuck up on the guy he was putting air in the tires for us but 
there it is anyways guy says it's been sitting here for like four years and hasn't ran you can see the hood is back behind that orange tarp there so I'll make sure to grab that too and it's got a I think he said this is like a 383 stroker small block Chevy in it but we may even end up trying to get this engine running for a bit just for the heck of it but uh, we'll do a little more detailed walk through when we get her back to the storage area but that's where she has sat for the last four years all right guys so we did the deal and there is the old suburban on the flat deck truck in front of us and we're just heading to the uh, storage yard in Sylvan there so we will uh, fire up the camera again when we get there and uh, show you guys around this thing a little bit all right guys so we got this thing uh, to the storage yard in Sylvan Lake here Looks like somebody beside me has a off-road project on the go here too. Uh, looks like a Toyota of some kind. But um, anyways, we got this rig uh, here. Um, show you guys around it a little bit. It's a three-quarter ton, four by four Suburban, 1990. Um, somebody's put manual hubs on it. Being a three-quarter ton, it's got the eight lug wheels. It's got a big lift on it. You can see it's got to be, I'm guessing, probably a six inch lift, if not an eight inch lift. It's almost uh, for a five foot nine ish guy like me, it's a little tall to get into, but uh, it's got a big uh, steel bumper on the front with, must have had like gin poles or some tow bar or something hooked up to these brackets here um, like I said before it's a 383 stroker I believe but uh, it sat out in the weather with the hood off so I'm guessing water probably got down into the carb but I think just for the heck of it I'm gonna try get this engine running um, it's been a long time since I've had a vehicle that's had a carburetor and a distributor on it and if you look at the distributor there is not much left of it, so that's gonna need some work. And I'm assuming rain and stuff got down through the carb. I'll probably wanna pull the pan off and uh, see if there's water and oil and all that. But yeah, it might be fun to try and get this engine running before we uh, put the six liter in. Um, I'm just walking around to the other side here got a few issues missing some light there um, windshield is trashed just look inside here uh, the lights kind of weird but headliner is like hanging down it's gonna need a, it's kind of a mess in here but we'll get her all fixed up in this box here there's a distributor cap and plug wires, assorted parts. Back seat, we got a couple alternators. Uh, flex plate of some sort. Um, some different brackets and like I said, kind of a mess in here. We'll look at the back too. Um, there's a little bit of rust on the rocker there. You can see it's eaten through a bit. But for the most part, the body seems fairly solid. In the back here, you can see there's some Bondo that uh, is cracking. Uh, rear diff, I believe, is the 14 bolt. I think they call this the semi-floating uh, rear axle. I'm not real up on the uh, 4x4 axles. Um, exhaust looks brand new. I think the lift is fairly newly installed. It actually used to be an ambulance at uh, the Nova Joffrey plant. You can see there's still like a unit number and stuff on the side of it. So 
and the nice thing about being an ambulance um, from what the previous owner told me they've got galvanized floors in them so the floor shouldn't ever rust so that'll be good it's got the barn doors in the back which I like some trailer wiring dangling down it's got the trailer hitch on it down there you can see the the 14 bolt diff just open up here front drive shaft is in the back um, inside has all been like rhino lined or whatever you call that it's got a spare tire and shroud uh, poster of a naked girl apparently <laughs> didn't see that earlier um, and then uh, yeah other sides just the same so there it is this thing is a beast oh and there's my son Ryan <laughs> he came along to pick it up um, looks like they're missing some bug nuts and stuff there's the, the other side of it I saw the glove box uh, door in the back there somewhere but Interior isn't terrible. There you can see how bad the windshield is. But anyways, that is gonna be the next project for the Lobach LS channel. I think uh, we're gonna make it a Lobach Overlander. So we'll call it the Loverlander for short. So. Anyways, we'll uh, wrap this one up. Just wanted to show you guys what we're going to be working on next and what we're going to be uh, dropping that 6 liter LQ4 into. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Um, if you uh, want to support the channel, for you can start at 3 bucks a month on Patreon. There'll be a link down in the uh, description below. But That's all for this one. We'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.